Hey everybody, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That's the first thing I have to say. Thank you, you know, for tuning in, for constantly supporting CC and what I do. You know, it's such an uh, an awesome feeling, you know, when I go out in the streets and, you know, just the adjectives that people use to describe me. You know, you're so down to earth. Your messages are so profound. You know, all the things that, you know, you know, the, I really are relating to the messages and you know when people can give you verbatim something that you said in a video It makes you feel even greater, you know, so them not lie, you know, they're not just hear CC them listen to CC and them understand CC and I get to realize, you know, based on my experience You know meeting people when I go out and observations that a lot of a lot of older folks tune into my messages and to my channel But I'd like to believe that you know some part of the younger population, you know, they do get my message my messages when I put them out and today when we really want to come to talk about you know I really want to come to contact with the young parents and both men and women you know I got pregnant at 24 or 25 I don't even remember but I was out of university I had got my well I had finished my courses was just waiting for the uh, for the graduation no as a matter of fact I, I graduated I graduated everything honors degree and my mom was mad at me and I was saying to myself, you know, why is this lady furious at me? Come on, me get, me get something where a lot of young people don't even get a chance, you know, forget, you know, being a, a, a young adult and, you know, she migrated when, you know, when I was in high school, you know, I practically took care of myself and my brothers. I'm like, why is she mad? But when I became a parent myself, you know, I, I, I understood certain things and I, and I understood why she was mad, you know. You see, as a parent, your life is no longer yours. Your life belongs to your child. So everything you do, everything you say, your behavior should exemplify that which you want your child to portray or to act out. You understand me? And Maria, I say as young parents, I don't know what's happening to this generation, but I'll blame it on the parents. You understand? Because I was raised on some profound principles, morals, and values. Thanks to my mom. They were instilled in me. Yes, we were poor, but that wasn't that that, that wasn't the determinant of, of you know of my behavior. You know, you know, being poor and, you know, you get pregnant early. No, it pushed me to become something, to want to become something in life. I'm mean, going to say something to the young people. I'm mean, not nobody take it personal. I take it personal if you want. I don't care. The things that you're investing in now, like the year, the parties, you know, certain little things. And you have pitney. And the pitney them not look so righteous because them dirty and them go to school without the basic things. You know, the, the stress won't cause upon society, upon teacher itself. You know, it has to stop. It has to stop. You know what my mom told me? She said, see, the best thing you can give your child is an education. And yes, we were poor, but I never missed a day of school. I used to go to school without money because I wanted to go to school. My mom wanted me to go, but she never have it. You understand me? But it was just things that, you know, that were a part of me from a younger age. I'm telling myself, say, this look a board house and be out a door and wash plate runners and do do dong the so. I never wanted it for myself growing up, you know? When I became an adult, I wanted something different. Friend. You understand me? Barrel for my dresser, an empty cologne buckle and so on. Broke piece of broke mirror when we get from a neighbor. That was my mirror. I didn't want that kind of life. And yes, I had my, my first child. You know, when I was a bit young, but I tell myself, so, you know, I have to change. And there are certain things I just dropped. You know, the constant parting, the wallipa falls here, they used to buy. And, you know, there are certain things that I, I just stopped because my children were now my number one priority. And getting them a best, getting them the best education right now is mine. So I'm imploring to you. You understand me? Exemplify the kind of behavior that you want for your child. Do not let your child become a deviant member of society. You know, the onus is on you. You can do it. You have it in the palms of your hands. You understand me? Some things that you're focusing on, let them go. Yeah, run back a man, stop running on you have a pitney, run back on your pitney. Make sure you see a pitney, alright, school are coming up and now back to school. No found a god dream weekend, twisted spirit, and you name it. Borrow money if you go just because you don't want to look like, say, you know, you know, you know I want them reality started. And at the end of the day, you know, children going back to school, no pencils, no books, no bags. Things from last year were tear tear and I look good. You know, back in my days, I wanted a dance sport so bad enough, but my mommy couldn't afford it. And I understand. But let me tell you something. If she could have afforded it back then and denied me the chance of having it, I would have despised my mom. But, you know, she tried and I understand. Not having it, than having it and not giving to me. I understand the difference. We don't take pride in our children. They never ask to come here. As a mother that say, them the dash part, then they are we go trouble them. Take care of them. Put pride in yourself. And all you, all, you, all you act out. Your children are looking at you. You are the best example you can be from your, for your child. Whatever you do, your child will, you know, look at that behavior. And your child will act out that way. You can't depend on society for do it. You have to do it for yourself. All right?